Hey everybody, Justin Seiner here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Sellerboard to understand your key e-commerce analytics. Really, really valuable. This video is going to teach you a lot about the analytics that you need to understand and always know in your e-commerce store. And I'm going to be showing you Sellerboard. You see the link directly below this video. I'll tell you more about that. But first, I want to go over analytics, your e-commerce brand, and why it matters, and more importantly, how are you going to do this the right way when it comes to actually looking at your analytics and making data-driven decisions so you can grow your business? And the really kind of crazy thing is lots of sellers don't know their most important e-commerce stats and analytics. And stores that want to grow need to know all of the key stats all the time, right? The numbers are really the entire basis of your business. And if you don't know your numbers, you simply don't know your business. You won't be able to grow your business the way that you want. And a real popular strategy right now is to use Sellerboard to always track and understand the most important e-com analytics right inside your Shopify store. It's really cool. I'm going to show you over the shoulder exactly how it works. If you want to really kind of understand your analytics, you might run into some pain points because there's no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You're going to need to use an app. The reporting and the data that Shopify gives you, you know, it's just not enough. You need to use an app to actually understand the key important metrics that really drive your business. And the app must be super easy to use. You don't need to have any prior uh, experience. You don't need to be a Google Analytics expert or anything like that. You don't need to have any technological skill in order to use it. But really most importantly, the app should show a full picture of your business. This is everything, not just things like sales and order numbers, but ad costs, fees, taxes, payments, everything all in one dashboard. And that's why I use Sellerboard. This is what I use. This is what I highly recommend. You see the link directly below this video. It's an incredibly powerful Shopify app that's going to give you immediate access and allow you to understand all of the most important e-commerce metrics and analytics that you need to help grow your business. And you see the link directly below this video. I'm going to bring it over here right now, actually. Here is that Sellerboard Profit Analytics app. You see a massive 4.5 out of 5 star reviews over here. The bottom line is Sellerboard Profit Analytics. This is a great app to give you accurate and detailed profit analytics in real time. And when you know your numbers, you're able to make data-driven decisions that are going to actually help you grow your business. And I'm going to go over the shoulder. You'll see more about this, but you're going to see your little profit dashboard where you're going to be able to analyze profits by period. You're going to be able to look at different products, different brands. It's a cool, live, always updating dashboard giving you the you know immediate access to all of those important key metrics, right? How much did you make today? How much did you make yesterday? What's your, uh, you know, um, what's your cost? What's your ad cost? What's your gross sales? What's your net sales? What's your ROAS? Right, these are the, store, the stats that you need to be able to know on a daily basis so you could you know, make decisions. Okay, yesterday I had a great day. Okay, now it's time to scale. What products worked the best, you know? Where was I making the highest margin? Where was the biggest return on investment? You could see all those stats right inside of Sellerboard live at all times. It's incredibly powerful. You could see things like cost of goods sold as well. So you could actually know your true net net profit numbers on, an, on a per unit basis. You can see the net number. You can see the percentage number, right? Very important here. So you understand what products are making you the most money, right? Customer lifetime value, right? How much is a customer worth to you? Right, maybe you see this dashboard and you see, okay, well, my customer lifetime value is about $123 and it costs me $30 to acquire a customer. Okay, well, obviously I'm profitable. And that gives you a lot more insight. Maybe you say, well, a customer over their lifetime will buy $123 worth of products. So even if it costs a little bit to acquire them up front with ads, uh, it's going to be worth it because I know I'll make $123 off of them over every 12 months. How do I know that? Well, I'm looking at the 12 month. Uh, dashboard right here. Seller board tells me that. And that's incredibly valuable information, information that you as a store owner need to know. And there's tons more ways to kind of look at all the data. You could have spread, uh, spreadsheet reports as well. You could download everything or receive them via email. Really powerful, but most importantly, very easy to use. And it's all real time. So you're getting these real time analytics with really, really high levels of accuracy. So you know exactly what's going on with your business with that very high level of confidence. And all you need to do to get started, press the install button right over here. I'm going to show you over the shoulder, seller board inside one of my stores, but very, very easy to do. Again, 
click install over here, get this in here, free trial available so you'll see the power of it. So let's go over the shoulder. You're looking inside of the seller board for Shopify dashboard, and this is going to be where you find all of your important KPIs, all of your stats, all of your metrics. And I'm going to walk you through the different sections that you see over here. And this is actually a really cool demo. You're actually able to get to it from the seller board website, and you can go ahead and check it out, sellerboard.io. You see the link below this video, and you can click demo on top, get into the same data that I'm looking into right here. So you can see exactly how everything's going to look and how easy it is to navigate. And you're always going to load into your dashboard. This is the dashboard right over here. First thing that comes to your attention, you see these colored blocks. These are going to be your different time zones or time dates. And what we can do over here is set custom ranges or see a specific set of ranges that they've predetermined here. And you see these are kind of the most relevant ones, this first default screen, showing your daily sales, obviously today, showing yesterday's sales, showing month to date, and then really cool over here, showing our forecasted revenue over here and then our last month revenue. So what this is right here is literally an, uh, a total picture of your entire business. And it's not just the simple things like sales. You see that we go down into more detail, orders and units, right? So we had 11 orders, buying 14 units. We have our advertising cost over here. We have our return on investment over here, our blended ROAS, right? And if you hover over any of these little metrics, it's going to tell you what this is, right? Blended return on advertising spend, basically just saying sales divided by how much did you spend on ads? And that's your typical ROAS calculation. You see a massive 7x, 7.29x ROAS here. Obviously really good results showing a $533 net profit. So really talking about net profit, right? And you say, okay, well, 1538 minus 211, that's more than 533. Well, seller board even takes into consideration the cost of what you're selling, right? Your cost of goods sold. So it's understanding, as you see down here, what your profit margins are, right? Your gross profit, your net profit, basically different numbers based on how much is the cost of the product here. So your net profit is everything, right? All expenses taken out. You can click more to actually see everything. You see the cost of goods sold over here. You see shipping costs, advertising costs, all these other things that are taking away from your bottom line. Of course, these are just your expenses in your business, but you get to see them all in one click. So we're not just talking about numbers in terms of what are, what are our daily sales, really more important than that. What are our daily profits? What is our daily margin? What is our daily return on investment? You see all that right inside here. You see our average order value as well. You see our ROAS, all within one click. And of course, this happens for all the different types of time periods that you have here. We click into this, now going on yesterday, we're seeing the specific information that we see here and very easy to compare. See our ROAS was higher today than it was yesterday, higher than it has been in really month to date and really we're outperforming the month forecast. So that tells us that our ads are working really well. And we see that within just one second, right? All these, of course, update. So as we're clicking into here, you're seeing at the bottom, the actual numbers update here in the report. This is now we're clicked into the last month here where we did 25,000, close to 26,000 in sales. You see what we sold. So how many units sales here, how much we spent on ads, what our gross profit is, what our net profit is, the return on investment, all that stuff. We can even click individually into here and get more insights on a per product or a per SKU basis, you see everything that we're selling and uh, these are clickable as well. So we can sort by different numbers, see how much we're making here, see what is giving us our highest net profit, our lowest net profit, right? What units are selling the most, what uh, has been returned the most if there are any, and uh, really very easy to navigate here in all these different blocks. You can customize the blocks as well. And that's just one of the different sections here, right? You see all the different sections here in seller board because they literally capture all of the different information that you need. So we're going to go into marketing now, and this is really going to allow you to track things cross-platform. Say you're running Facebook ads, you'll be able to get that in here. Let's say you're running Google ads, YouTube ads, you'll get that in here. Say you're running TikTok ads, you'll be able to get that in here. Very easy to get this set up, tracks very well, very accurately, and showing you all of your core stats on a per-platform basis. So showing us that we spent $2,500 over here, and this is for, your, I believe, what, last uh, 30 days. So we spent 2,500 on Facebook, we spent 2,200 on Google, we spent 867 on Pinterest, 736 on TikTok, showing you all that here. But now really cool, we can come over here and take a look. We'll show the uh, ROAS here and we'll see where we are in terms of sorting by that, right? Pinterest, while we haven't spent the most there, we've had the highest return on ad spend. So we might wanna focus more of our attention into Pinterest and we can click over here and even see more specifically about what we were advertising and kind of what products that really work well in this case, the packaging boxes, 
work really well in our Pinterest uh, advertising platform. So we'll have those insights to kind of guide what we want to advertise, where we want to advertise. We see our CPMs over here and you can kind of compare everything apples to apples. You can say, okay, well, Pinterest getting us our cheapest cost per click and our uh, highest return on ad spend. So really solid there. I want to focus more attention, right? And we see 70 sales from Shopify, but maybe not at, at the same rate, right? It costs about five dollars less to acquire a customer on pinterest so again we see all these insights it allows us to make data-driven decisions and uh, you know of course we can go here and change let's say we want to do last 12 months we could do that as well and the data will update here in the filtering so we'll go into ltv now this is all about lifetime value this is really cool and a very important stat for any e-commerce store to understand what is your customer's lifetime value? How much are they going to spend? And when I say they, it's an average customer. What is an average customer going to spend throughout their lifetime as a customer with you? And this is a really important metric. And obviously, it's important enough to get its own section in here. And you could see lifetime values over the last 3, 6, 12, and 24 months. Pretty consistent numbers over here. And, you know, this is really telling you, okay, how many, peop uh, how many um, units or quantity are people buying at once? See that 1.2, 1.29, 1.29, right? So pretty consistent numbers you can see on a per product basis as well over these different time periods and that's really the whole name of the game with seller board they're going to have all of this great information available to you and you get to look at it very easy to understand you can always click into it to see more and it's going to let you make decisions to really grow your business things like products and shipping cost insights and pick and pack and payment fees right talking about where are we spending or most payments where are we giving away our payment fees in terms of you know uh in the Shopify and Afterpay case, right, taking 2%, 6.2%, 15%, right, 10% on eBay. So seeing where we're going to be giving our fees out can help us, you know, really dictate where we want to be in terms of spending money, spending focus, and where we want to promote our products. So we have all this. We Up here we have tile and chart view. This is just kind of different views for the same tables here. So as we go through, you could look at it on a tile chart. I'm sorry, on a tile setup, on a profit and loss, on a chart, you could even look at it on a trend basis. This is really powerful as well when you start looking at trends to kind of understand what's going on. But you're going to be spending most of your time here every single day taking a look, seeing your order sales, your ROAS, of course, and your net profit. And this is why Seller Board is so important because it puts all of this information right in front of your eyes. And again, you see the link directly below this video. Highly recommend Seller Board. You see the link to get this into your store. Really, really powerful. Free trial available as well. So get this in. Start looking at all the data. Make those data-driven decisions. And I hope this helps you make a lot of money.